convenience factor of life will be great, you know. <laughs> Lexi's crazy ass driving. All right, so it's the morning of day 82 before my appointment and before I get my central line out. I just wanted to sh give you guys one last look at it. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? I can kind of record what my day is going to be like so I can show you. It'll be really nice to get this thing gone because it's quite an inconvenience. Don't get me wrong, it's nice to have, but at the same time, like, as you can see, it's like, like falling apart. I had to use other tape to get it attached to me. And then, you know, to have it go straight to my heart, it is a big risk to my health from like an infection standpoint. And, you know, from showering, I have to like get my entire body wrapped in saran wrap and more tape because you can't get it wet and blah, 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 blah. And like, as you can tell, or I'm not sure if you can see, but like right there, right? is where the other wraps were. And there's kind of like this square of where the saran wrap goes on me every time that I can't clean in the shower and haven't been able to clean since I got this thing. So it's also kind of gross, but um, I'm gonna get dressed here. We're gonna go to the hospital and they're gonna, they're gonna take this thing out. So we're on the way to the hospital, but because we're gonna be there pretty much all day because of the procedure, we have to stop by my mom's house and drop off these two guys so they don't go crazy bored just alone in our in our place. So we're on the way to my mom's to drop these guys off and then we're on our way to the hospital. Look at him in the backyard. Miles is peeing. But this is where they run around. Hey, thanks mom. Love you too. Lexi, the, the cars. Oh God. Lexi almost killed us, everybody. Slamming on our brakes. Anyways, we just dropped the dogs off. Um, to my mom's and now we're on our way to the hospital and I wanted to share some good news and some bad news about getting my line out first of all the good news is the fact that it's coming out that is nice it'll be great to have less of an infection going straight to my heart and just the overall convenience factor of life will be great. <laughs> Lexi's crazy ass driving so the good news is is I get the thing out right so I get the the line out of my body so I lose the risk of infection and then I can have my like life back when it comes to like showering and the gym and just the overall like movement of my chest and shoulder and I don't have to have this weird thing sticking out of me that could get caught on. You know, it's just gonna be really convenient for my life again. Um, the bad news is, dang, we are on the bumpiest road possible, like moving everywhere. Or it's just Lexi's driving. <laughs> no, but the bad news is, is for this little procedure, if you can call it that, I don't get any anesthesia or get to go under at all. So that means I'm gonna have to lay in the bed while they cut the stitch out of my jugular, cut the stitches that's holding it to my chest, and then just watch them like rip it out of me and just hopefully that goes okay and it's not painful. Or I'm sure it's gonna feel, I don't know, I'll let you know. All right, look at that, we have made it to the hospital today and I will say the weather is fantastic you can see like there is some cloud coverage going on right here and it is nice and cool it's the best it's ever felt in there I mean not ever but it feels great outside so about to go into the appointment version not the procedure side of things so I'm gonna go into where they draw my blood poke me for my drugs and then see if I need anything the basic usual stuff and then I believe it's around I can't remember if it's at noon or two, because it's switched like, yeah. So 12.30, that's when I'll actually get the line out. So we'll probably grab some food in between then, depending on how long this takes. But yeah, let's go jump into the appointment. Woo! I got one more. All right, I'm ready. ready. Look at all the pressure in my tube. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, so we are in the room. They have taken my blood samples. They don't have to poke me. They used my tube for the last time, but I do have to wait for them to come in and give me an IV to poke me and take my tacro levels. Oh, Lexi's open. Oh, look at her over there. <laughs> Caught her mid-yawn. 
uh, they poked me, giving me an IV to take another blood sample separate from the ones coming from my heart for a specific drug called tacro or tacrolimus. But yeah, and then once they do that, I'm free to leave, go get some food because I'm starving, and then I can go get ready for my procedure. The I don't know where they rip it out. So here we go. It's getting closer. I'm getting a little nervous. All right, so we are finally leaving the room. It took like two and a half hours for some reason. The tacro team, the ones that come in and poke me to do the extra blood draw, took extra long today. Don't know why. But I finally get to leave. Lexi and I are gonna go get some food because I'm starving, and then get ready for my line removal. So exciting stuff. So although it's almost lunchtime. I mean, my lunch time, it's almost like 11. We just still want breakfast, so we're going to this cool little brunch spot called, what is it, the breakfast bar? What is this place called? The breakfast kitchen bar. The breakfast kitchen bar. Yeah, it's got a cute little architectural design. It's a circle, and I want to sit outside, so let's try to make that happen. Look at that thing. It's like all caramel. Our food has arrived. I got a, a Southwest bowl. Lexi's already digging in before I can get the picture and review here. <laughs> Jesus. All right, good. <laughs> so here's the official breakfast bar review guide. Lexi got, what did you get? You got a- Chicken and waffle sandwich. A chicken and waffle sandwich covered in, in scrambled eggs. And maple syrup. And maple syrup. We're waiting for the verdict. It looks pretty good. Is it good? You want me to try it? All right. Damn. It's tasty. It's a little overly sweet. Not my kind of food. Obviously, see, I got the spicy bowl. I'll give it like a seven. That's good. Yeah, mine is like a chorizo scramble bowl. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'd give it about an eight. Also, in regards to this, when Lexi took her first drink, all she did was suck up a pool of caramel. So, I was correct. All right, so I'm here to give an update on my uh, Southwest Chorizo Bowl. I said it was an eight before. I'm gonna give it a six now. It's still good, and I will eat the whole thing. Maybe not the whole thing, because it's a lot. But I just feel like it's lacking in the flavor category. It's just kind of like a whole lot of nothing, in my opinion. It definitely is missing some salt. All right, so I'm back in the car, and we still have like an hour, so I kind of Lexi went to the target over there and I'm gonna go find her in a second but I'm gonna give you a final update on the breakfast kitchen in bar um, definitely feel like they're more focused on the bar and not the kitchen the food the more I ate and the more Lexi ate, it just kind of felt like lackluster just like didn't have the care I feel like it should have but the margarita not margaritas but like the what are they the Bloody Mary's and you know the Mimosas, I'm not a very bar person, but they were all beautiful and that's like every table there Nobody really had food. They all just had like, you know, mixed drinks and cocktails And I'm like, well, it seems like a good loungy spot if you're going for a drink But if you're going for breakfast, I don't know if I'd really go there So for me, someone who's not a big drinker, I don't think I'm gonna go there again, especially for brunch I'm more of a food guy. I feel like especially with brunch spots You got to have that good mix of like food and booze and they just had the, the folks on the booze. So I'm gonna give them like a five out of 10. I don't think I'm gonna go back there. So now it's time to go find Lexi in this Target somewhere before I get my line out. All right, here we go. Time to go find Lexi in this big old Target. If I had any guesses of where Lexi's gonna be, oh, it's gonna be right here on the right. Watch this. She's, she's the book person. She goes to Target, she, oh my God. This was the quickest find I've ever seen. Look at that, look how lucky I got. Well, I was wrong. I thought she'd be in the book section. She's in this like weird little fall section. Lexi, what do you have to say to yourself? What do you have to say for yourself? Explain yourself, leaving me in the car. 
she was already in the book section. I was right. We're not getting that book. Put the twig down. We can find that outside. <laughs> Paint it black. We have so many blankets that we don't even... Did you hear that? Did you hear that, guys? We don't have an orange blanket. You know, we don't have a jacuzzi. Can you believe that? Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? We have every other color blanket possible, but we don't have an orange blanket. We are currently on our way back to the mail about half an hour early, but we're gonna get the job started here on the line removal. So hopefully I can record in there. I don't know if they'll let me or not. So. If this is one of the last videos you see before me leaving the hospital, I apologize, but I will try. All right, we have made it to the Mayo. It is super bright. It's like the middle of the day now. As you can see, it's all the way over there. We had to park super far out. It is extremely busy now. There is like no parking spaces. Well, I mean, there are like way out here in the Boons where, but now we have to walk all the way over there. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it is pretty pretty fucking hot. <laughs> goes on your ear. It's uh, oxygen, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, life is tough for a day. Yeah. <laughs> thought I was getting my ear pierced for a second. <laughs> How long do you think it'll take to get it out? I don't know, it could be 10 minutes or so. So that sucks. But I just gotta explain that this is not just gonna be all. It's gonna be like a 10 minute slow pull and tug. I have butterflies. Like I can feel them in my stomach right now. I have. I felt like I had to pee too. So before I went in this room, I went pee because I had like the nervous pees. And now when I'm back in the bed, after she told me like what's gonna happen, I, the butterflies and nervous pee are back. But I'm like, I just went pee. I don't, also how cool do I look in this thing? You know, like FBI agent, you know, James Bond. Like is my credibility through the roof right now or, or what? The lidocaine is here. I think it's about to go down. Poor form for me. Look at that. Wow. It's not as long as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so we are finished up. Look at that. So that's not blood. Don't worry. That is a, a cleaner. I believe it's called Hibiclens. It's just cleaner. And we are all patched up. We got the new patch over the hole. Crazy stuff. I'll give you an update once I get out of here because, you know, it's quiet and there's people staring at me. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are. Look at that. Time to go find Lexi. She said she was going to be in the cafeteria. All right. I'm not sure if you can see her, but she's over here on the left. Let's go. Let's go say hello. Show her what she's been missing. Look at her sitting over there. I don't even think she sees me. I'm like, oh my God, she doesn't see me. I wonder how long we can sit here. And just like, look at, she doesn't even see me. All right, I am leaving the mail. Lexi has been found and communicated with even though she just blatantly ignored me for so long. If I didn't go sit next to her, she probably would have just left me here. Just She's just zoning out. Just zoning out. But yeah, we're headed back to the car and I'll give you an update of everything here shortly once I don't have to walk and I don't know, when I can think. I'm not thinking right now. So we've made it back to my mom's house. We got, the, oh, he's gonna steal it. Oh, he's not gonna steal it. Pick up the boys, but you know, let them have a little bit of fun before we leave. All right, we picked up the dogs. We are now back at our place. And um, I'm probably just gonna chill for a bit. Uh, I'll probably show you what it looks like in another video here. But um, overall, I mean, 
really good. Obviously I had some nerves going into it, but the nurse I had did a fantastic job. She was super nice, super caring, was super like communicative. The surgeon, doctor, I don't know, whoever did it was fantastic, walked me through it the whole time and overall just really good. I mean, it still was interesting, like the lidocaine that I got. So this orange stuff is Hibiclens, it's just cleaner, it's not blood. Um, and then I got lidocaine all over the area, which is the numbing stuff. And then um, took out the stitches and he kind of just kind of tug of war, went to tug of war. So there's that little piece that you saw in it that kind of gets stuck in your body, that scar tissue goes around. And that's on purpose because they don't want it to move while it's in there. That's why they put that little piece on there, on the tube, so that your body can create and develop scar tissue around it. And that's why it took like 10, 15 minutes of like constant hugging. I thought it was just going to be like a pick line where it just goes all the way out, but no, because they had that little stopper on there, they have to like pull it through all the scar tissue that develops around and on your, your big vein that goes from your chest to your jugular to your heart. And that part kind of freaked me out, but there was so much lidocaine and the doctor did such a good job at like maintaining and keeping pressure that it didn't like stop and start the whole time. And yeah, honestly, really, really good. I was surprised at how short it was. Maybe I'm used to a pick line that goes from your bicep to your heart, but this one seemed a lot shorter than I, you know, than I was expecting. But overall, oh, and he didn't re-stitch me up. He um, put some like little bandages on me and then gauze and then a big sticker. I'll show you later once I kind of get some rest back <laughs> into me. But um, yeah, overall really good. It hurts a little bit right now but I think there's still a little bit of lidocaine. It might start hurting here soon. Um, yeah, overall really good. And from a, it's a, from a basic surgery standpoint, it's your basic stuff. No lifting, no, you know, swimming. The only one really specific to this one is no bending over, like to tie your shoe. That's a good example because they don't want the blood flow, gravity to like go to the top, get top heavy on you. Because once it starts bleeding, obviously it's one of the biggest veins going to your jugular that it could be hard to stop. And if it does start bleeding, that's like an ER visit for me. So no bending over, you know, no tying my shoes, no picking up stuff. No, it's hard. You know, my dogs have to bend over to pet them, which kind of sucks. But yeah, just the basic, you know, surgery stuff. No swimming pools, no lifting. I got to wait 24 hours to remove the outside bandage, you know, so... Yeah, I mean, pretty great. I was nervous for nothing. They did a great job, so. Also, look at our little thing that Lexi did. It's like, here, I'll get up and show you. It's like cobwebs and little ghosts all over. It's pretty cute, all over our picture frames. Most of our picture frames are empty, just because I went to go order like pictures. <laughs> and I was like, dude, it was like $800 to get all these things filled. And I was like, you know, maybe, maybe we'll just wait a second, but yeah. All right, well, here we are, shirtless after the procedure. As you can see, the line is gone, and I have some like band aid stitches. They're not actually stitches, they're like little band aids with some gauze and some clear tape thing covering it. And then all of this right here, it's not blood, don't worry. Um, it is a cleaner called the Hibiclens that they use to clean and sterilize my skin before going into the procedure or surgery. And overall, like I said, things went fantastic. Um, I will say now, um, the the numbing agent that they used, I forget what it's called, lidocaine. Uh, the lidocaine is definitely wearing off at this instance. Oh, look at my dog. It's definitely wearing off and the pain is starting to come in. It's not horrible, but I feel like it's, there's like, it's like an itchy kind of, just like a hole in my chest, if that makes sense. So obviously I'm gonna be in a little bit of pain, but yeah, um, overall good day and big day for me. This is gonna be a big one moving forward into getting, you know, just some comfortability back in the movement of my life, so. So I just took the wrapping off a day later and this is what it looks like. That looks weird on camera with the, like, the pink. And then like, so these are like the things that I was talking about, like the stitches that aren't stitches. The doctor said they'll fall off naturally in about a week, but it's okay to shower with them and get them wet. So um, there's a little bit of blood on the gauze, but I'm pretty sure that's normal. But yeah, 
pretty excited to get an actual shower in. And thanks again for watching this episode, and I appreciate you all. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.